Hello everyone, my name is Manuela. I'm a makeup artist and teacher at the Makeup Forever Academy here in Paris. Today, I'm with the lovely Emmanuel. Hello, my name is Emmanuel. I'm a content creator and model living in Paris. And today I'm really excited to be with Makeup Forever. Today we're going to show you how to achieve a perfect complexion look when you have combination to oily skin. Don't forget to let us know what you think by commenting below. And also, we are going to give you the opportunity to have the entire kit to reproduce the look at home. So please comment below. So Emmanuel, can you share with us your personal tips uh, for oily skin? I'm using mattifying papers to remove the excess of uh, sebum on the forehead and the nose. Nice, this is a very good tip. Mattifying papers, they work very well. Do you prep your skin? Uh, yes, I'm using uh, only skincare for daily use. Or when I'm going to a photo shoot, I'm using a primer, blurry one. Okay, good. Today we're going to use a primer. Oh, amazing. Yes, but before that, just because we care about you, make sure you clean your hands and your tools before you start in the makeup session. It's very important, especially nowadays. Are you ready? I'm totally ready. Cool. So today I'm going to start prepping your skin with step one, Hydra Booster Primer, which is a hydrating primer. Oh, perfect. Don't be surprised, even combination to oily skin need hydration. It's very important that you hydrate your skin very well before applying the foundation. Okay, okay, I understand. So this one is a transparent primer. We are going to use the brush 122 to apply it. Is it better to use it with a brush? It feels nicer, I would say. But you can also use your hands if you want. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> Yeah, it's very fresh. What we like about this primer is that it really replumps the skin and hydrates. So with a skin that is very well hydrated, you can be sure your makeup will stay 24 hours. Oh, that's amazing. That's a very important step and that's why we call it step one. So never start makeup without a primer. Now we're going to apply the new HD Skin Foundation, but before that, we're going to do a small test. Oh, okay? interesting. I'm putting HD Skin into test. I'm going to use my shade on an elastic band I'll apply a thin layer and let it dry for 20 minutes. So, I applied a thin layer of foundation on this band, okay? And look what happens when I pull it. Oh. Look how elastic the foundation is. It don't move at all. Look, I can even hold for a few seconds and when I come back, it doesn't the move same, at all. Yeah. It's the same, the foundation is intact. So basically, this is what is going to happen once you have the foundation on your skin. On skin yeah. It's going to adapt to the movement and it's going to be perfect throughout the day. I can do another test also to show you that the product is waterproof. Let me grab a little bit of water. I'll spray on it. Okay. Cotton pad. I press against the foundation. And do you see? Oh, this is impressive. No transfer. It's very nice, right? This is really, really nice. Yes. Let's try on the skin. Yeah, sure. Ready? Let's do it. Okay. I picked for you shade number 3i56. Okay. Okay. So it's a yellow based color. I'll use my hand to warm up a little bit the texture. And I'm going to use the blender. So watch out if you are a blender fan. This one is a new whole era of blenders. Okay. Because have you seen it? You have two different textures. So this is a silicone oh, yeah. part, okay, that we're going totally to different. use to apply the product. And this one, a is regular it? sponge, we're going to use to blend it. Okay. Okay. So I'll start in the center of the face, going upwards, and then using the other part of my blender to dab the foundation into the skin. Same thing on the forehead. The texture feels amazing. Feels nice, right? Yeah. Let me show you the difference. Tell me what you think. Do you see the difference between both sides? Yes, this is really impressive because normally uh, when I saw this face, I saw the irregularities, the redness on the cheeks and on this part. It's really like uniform. Yes, so. it's more even. Yeah, totally. Even in terms of colors, here you have the forehead that is a little bit darker and now everything is the same. But it still is very natural. This is what we love about this foundation is that HD skin is undetectable. You don't see the texture. It really gives you a flawless look that we don't see. 
like for a makeup artist, is one of the, our favorite products. And for me, this is really what I'm looking for for foundation. Yeah, it's perfect because yeah. uh, it looks super natural. Can I do the other side end? Yeah, sure. Also, if you don't like the blender, you always have the option to use the brush. This is brush number 809 that we did especially for the application of the new HD skin. What do you prefer, brush or blender? Uh, I'm usually using the blender. Nice. Great, it looks great. Maybe people at home, they are not convinced, so let's do another test. Are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. Let's test waterproof hold on you this time, okay? Let's see with the cotton pad if it works. It's okay, no transfer. No transfer. Perfect. And it's really good to know we're especially wearing mask every day. Yes, yeah. yes. This foundation is waterproof, smudge proof, and I can tell you it's also mask proof. You're right, <laughs> it's true. Let's do a second test with wet foundation. So I'm close ready. your eyes. This is the water spray. Do you want to do it yourself this time? Okay, sure. Just press against your skin. Oh, nothing. Really nothing. Perfect. Transfer proof. Yes. Transfer proof. Great. Now let's eliminate the eye contour. Oh, okay. my favorite part. Yes? Yeah, because I really hate my dark circles. Everyone hates yeah, dark circles. Maybe. It's our worst enemy. So we're going to use Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. It's a multitasker. You can also use on imperfections or if you have pigmentation. And today we're going to use on your dark circle. Okay? So we can go straight with the applicator if you want. Look up. like this, and then I'm going to use the brush 216 to blend it. This is a waterproof product, so be careful because waterproof products tend to become a little bit darker, so make sure you choose a lighter color before applying. Good, your dark circles are gone. Oh, we can't wait to see. You don't see it anymore. Let me share a tip with you. You can continue using a round brush, but this time I'm going to use the brush 236 and with the concealer, I'm going to create some spotlights oh. on your cheekbones. You have beautiful cheekbones, so I'm going to highlight it a little bit. Perfect. So I warm up on my hand first and then I apply on top of the cheeks. That's good to know if you want like a natural highlight. Exactly, because it's not shiny at all. It's a lighter color of concealer. You can finish with your fingers or you can go back to the sponge and dab into the skin. So it's a very good tip to illuminate different areas of your face. So depending on your face shape, you can eventually use on the eyebrow bone or around this area here to illuminate. Today, I only used on Emmanuel's cheeks. Let's set your complexion because we are done with foundation and concealer. We are going to use the Extra Fine Ultra HD Setting Powder. I'm going to use the same brush we used before for the primer. Okay, perfect. Brush 822. So a little bit of powder and we are going to come all over the face. What you can do, if you want to keep it a little bit shiny for any reasons, you can only use the powder on the T-zone. Oh, yes. When we have only skin, this is what bothers us the most. Like you said, you have the oily skin in the center normally, so you can use the powder only in these areas. Otherwise, you just go all over it. Okay, that's good to know. We are done with the step number four, setting the complexion, and now we're going to fix it. I'll let you choose between our two setting sprays, our award-winning Mist and Fix Enriched Formula with a hydrating touch, or the Air Velvet for a mattifying effect. Which one do you prefer? I think I'm gonna go with the second one. It sounds like a good choice yeah. for combination to oily skin because it will help you controlling the oil during the day. So let me show you how to use it. First of all, you need to shake a little bit. And now we're going to do 30 centimeters from your face. Okay. Okay, like this. Of course, you close your eyes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so this is the last step. 
This is the last tap. Okay. Yes, and we are done. Done. Let's do it. That's okay? Yes, like perfect. This? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap. That's a wrap. We are done. Your complexion is luminous, matte, long-lasting, and yet Whoa. fresh. Are you happy? I'm really happy. You look amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Well, guys, now we have all the tips and tricks to recreate a perfect complexion at home as we did with Emmanuel. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me today. It was a pleasure. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'd love to see you again. See you soon. Bye. Bye. -bye.